Now that sounds like a disaster. But all right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk to you about a company we have not yet talked about on the channel, a company named Iris Energy Limited, stock ticker IREN, and they are a Bitcoin mining company. So we cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners quite a bit on this channel. So if that is content that you're interested in, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video, please smash the like button. So I'm excited to talk about this one. This is a big new player. They have massive plans. So what I want to do is go through, this company just went public November 17th. So they have basically three press releases since they've gone public. I'd like to go through those three. The third one in particular is very detailed of what they hope to do over the next few years. First, I just want to go through the facts of what their plan is. Then I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think about it. And then we will look at the chart and see what some potential price targets might be. Iris Energy Limited announces pricing of initial public offering. This is on November 17th, 2021. Iris announced today that the pricing of its initial public offering of 8,269,231 ordinary shares at a public offering price of $28 per share. Okay, the next press release was a few weeks later. Iris Energy Limited announces monthly investor update for November 2021. So I'm actually encouraged to see this because the publicly traded Bitcoin mining companies, the larger ones and the more established ones, have been getting into the habit of putting out a monthly update. And that is extremely useful as an investor. So it looks like Iris has jumped right into this. They're not even two weeks into being public and they're already giving us a monthly update. Okay, so a couple of key points here. Iris Energy successfully completes $232 million NASDAQ IPO. That's encouraging. Obviously, they're going to need that cash because the next thing they say is they are on track to become one of the largest Bitcoin miners with 15.2 exahash per second. This is a two-year plan that they have. They're looking to get to 15.2 exahash per second by the end of 2023. There's no company right now in North America that has 15.2 exahash per second. However, there will be several most likely by the time just 2023 ends that have even more than that. So this will make them a big player, but by no means the biggest. Okay, this is their most recent press release, and this really has all the meat and potatoes. This goes through in great detail exactly what they plan to do. So let's take a close look at this one. Iris Energy Limited announces monthly investor update for December 2021. So this was put out on January 11th, 2022, just a few days ago. So they've highlighted at the top 14% increase in average operating hash rate to 748 petahash or 0.748, about three quarters of an exahash. But with three quarters of an exahash, at least they are in the Bitcoin mining business. So they do not have to start from scratch here. They have some experience. They've gone through some part of the learning curve of all this. They're up and running and we'll look at how many Bitcoin they've mined over the last three months. So then they say, Mackenzie and Prince George construction remains on track. So they're currently constructing these two sites. You'll see later that this covers very little of the total amount that they need in in energy coverage much more to come whether it whether it be through them them building their own facilities or through renting out other facilities uh, they've just started to scratch the surface here on their full requirements to get to 15.2 exahash key highlights 748 petahash per second we talked about that that's a 14 percent increase it looks like month over month from the previous month 124 Bitcoin mined. That's a 10% increase, generating monthly operating revenue of $6 million. So you can see that most of the miners we cover are somewhere between 200 and I believe Marathon had 482, which was the record for any company in the year 2021. So somewhere between 200 and 500 a month. These guys are about a step behind that. But like I said, at least they're up and running and they are in the game. They did mine over 100 Bitcoin the last three months in a row. So then they say operations are now 100% renewable since inception following the purchase of renewable energy certificates. We know that the Bitcoin miners have come under a lot of pressure based on the amount of energy that it takes to mine Bitcoin. And there's huge pressure for these guys to be green, as green as they can be. A lot of the North American miners are striving towards somewhere between 95 and 100% 
Some of them are very close or already at that goal. Some of them have a long way to go, but the pressure is huge. So, so this is an important piece of the puzzle for every Bitcoin miner. Okay, next they talk about uh, the extreme temperatures they're under and that, they're, that, that has had minimal impact on their production. So minimal impact to operations at Canal Flats, which currently has their 0.7 exahash that's up and running right now, despite negative 30 degrees Celsius conditions and having previously operated successfully through 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So this operations has had extreme weather on both sides, and they're saying their operations are fine, they can, they can handle the extreme heat, and they can handle the extreme cold. Okay, so then they've got a section about their construction. They've got construction underway in McKenzie, and they say that remains on track to deliver 1.5 exahash per second in 2022, with the first 0.3 exahash expected in Q2 of 2022. Full ramp up by the end of the third quarter. All of their hash rate right now is at the Canal Flats facility, which we just talked about previously. Okay, then they say long lead procurement is essentially complete at Prince George facility, with construction on track to deliver 1.4 exahash per second in Q3 of 2022, and expansion to 2.4 exahash per second so what you'll see later when we look at their detailed plans is they will be fairly maxed out for the next two years. As they built, they are building facilities to accommodate the machines they've already ordered. There's a critical path here from a timing standpoint that they're going to have to stay on track with their construction in order to have the machines that they've bought up and running and operational, which obviously is crucial. You do not want to have idle machines. So here quickly, they talk about the Canal Flats update. So that's the 0.7 exahash they're running right now. The McKenzie update, which we talked about, which is going to accommodate 1.5 exahash. And the Prince George facility, which is going to accommodate 2.4 exahash per second. Future development sites, substantial progress was made on prospective large-scale project sites in Texas, including design planning and electrical connection studies. Development works continued across a number of additional secured sites in Canada and other parts of the US and Asia, which we talked about. Further details will be provided in due course, including as and when development sites transition to the construction phase. So all the rest of their development sites are yet to even enter the construction phase. So lots of work ahead for these guys getting their facilities ready. Let's take a look at their plan and see how they plan to roll out this 15.2 exahash over the next couple of years. So this is showing their average operational hash rate, which went from 649 petahash to 657 to 748. They've had some small growth over the last few months, um, and that's encouraging. So then they give their unaudited results on Bitcoin mining. So they mined 127 Bitcoin in October, 113 Bitcoin in November, and 124 Bitcoin in December. So you see, despite the fact that their hash rate went up a little bit, their production bounced around a little, and that is because the difficulty level continues to fluctuate for mining Bitcoin. Okay, now here's their big schedule. In order to reach their goal of 15.152 or 15.2 exahash of Bitcoin mining computing power, they have to stick to this schedule. And that is gonna require 154,597 machines, of which, Right now, they have 8,326 that are operational. They have to approximately 18x the number of machines that they have up and running over the next two years in order to reach this goal. And they've put a timeline right here of how they plan to do that. They have some that are in transit already. It looks like 4,971 machines. They have some already in inventory pending deployment. So I assume those are probably going to be deployed in January and that's 2,690 machines. Then they start going by quarter. So the first three quarters, Q1, Q2, and Q3 of 2022, 11,500, 11,600, and 7,000 machines coming respectively in those three months. This is a big undertaking. There are other companies that have similar undertakings, so I'm not saying that it can't be done, but this is aggressive, and then you'll see not only is this aggressive, in Q4, they ramp this up to t almost 28,000 machines delivered in Q4 of 2022, and then another 26,500 in Q1 of 2023, another 26.7 thousand in Q2 of 2023, and then finally 26.9 thousand 
in Q3 of 2023. So that equals their 154,597 machines that they need to have delivered and installed. There's only a few companies looking to buy and install that many machines in that period of time, but they are not alone. There are three or four other companies looking to do similar to this, uh, if not more. So I just ran a quick calculation. Marathon recently bought 78,000 machines and those were the 140 terahash machines. So that equates to about 10.9 exahash in machine power. And they paid $879 million for those. So what I've done is for Iris, they, they still need to buy 138,574 machines. It looks like they're buying the S19J Pros. I believe those have 104 terahash per second versus the 140s that Marathon bought. So that is going to give them an additional 14.4 exahash of computing power along with their three quarters of an exahash right now. That gets them to their 15.2 exahash. So if they paid similar price per terahash, so not per machine because Marathon bought different machines, but if they paid a similar price per terahash, then that's going to be just short of about $1.2 billion dollars to buy all those machines. So that is obviously an estimate. I don't know what they secured those machines for. They may have done a little bit better than that. They may have done a little bit worse than that. But give or take, they're going to need a billion dollars to buy all these machines in the next two years. So if we look at Iris Energy, they're trading at $12.51. Remember, they IPO'd at $28. So they are down dramatically from where they IPO'd. And my point being, that leaves them at a market cap of $688 million. If we go back to my calculation, they need to raise significantly more money than the entire market cap of their company right now. Now, that sounds like a disaster, but it is not necessarily a disaster at all. It's all about timing. And we saw they were staggering the purchase of the machines and delivery of the machines over time. It can be done, but there are a massive amount of critical path items on their plan, all of which they will have to meet in order to achieve this goal. And, and the three big ones are they need to build their facilities to accommodate these machines. And any of you familiar with the construction process knows that, you know, trying to complete projects on time is quite a challenge in among itself. In addition to that, they haven't even identified some of the projects that so many of them aren't even started yet. The second key critical path thing is these machines need to be delivered on time. 154,000 machines, that's an awful lot of machines, and 138,000 remaining to be delivered. They have to get delivery, they have to have their facilities up and running, and then they have to install these machines and get them active in a timely manner. So they do not need to execute this plan to perfection. None of the Bitcoin miners have stayed 100% on track with their growth plans. But what they do need to do is continue to increase their exahash so they can increase the amount of Bitcoin that they mine so that they can increase the market cap of their company so that they can raise this billion dollars that they need at some type of reasonable rate. Now, I don't know that they're gonna raise that through equity or debt or some combination thereof, but you can see they just IPO'd and raised $232 million. This looks like maybe another billion dollars they're gonna need between buying the machines and constructing all of the facilities to house the machines and power them. The timing of raising that money is going to be critical because they do not wanna raise this money when they're sitting here at a market cap of $688 million. The dilution to an investor is going to be so dramatic at that rate that it's not really feasible. So what they need to do, they need to get machines installed. They need to double or triple their capacity and double or triple their market cap and then start to raise money and then raise money over time. And as their market cap increases, the amount of money that they raise is less and less dilutive to the shares of stock. It's a very aggressive plan. There's a lot of factors that have to happen just right, a couple of which are outside of their control, which is when these machines are delivered. And the other major factor is how Bitcoin is doing, because if Bitcoin is behaving well, then the company's market cap will increase to the levels that they needed to, to raise either convertible debt or equity. If not, 
then that is going to hamper their ability to raise money. So the health of Bitcoin is critical to the success of this plan. So I'm going to take an extremely quick look at the chart because it's a very short chart. They went public here on November 17th at $28. They're significantly down. They're trading at $12.51 right now as we speak. So the first thing they need to do is have Bitcoin get healthy and continue to install machines. If they can just get back to the price that they were at less than one month ago, this is December 21st, that would be a 45% increase in their stock price and therefore in their market cap. So this is what I'm talking about. If they can take these steps one step at a time, it gets easier to raise money. A lot better to raise money if your market cap is up 45 or 50% versus where it is right now. And then just to get back to where they IPO'd, which was just two months ago, that would be over a 120% increase in the price of their stock. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take them to get back to that. This 45% increase that we just previously looked at, I think is a very reasonable price target in the first quarter of 2022. I think Bitcoin is gonna get healthy. It's having a little bit of a red day today, but it's been rallying lately. And if Bitcoin can get at all healthy, all of these miners are likely to get back to the levels that they were just at one month ago or two months ago. So the question is, can they take it from there and get all the way back to where they IPO'd at $28? So that remains to be seen. So for me, they may end up executing all of this and being one of the big players. And if they do that, their market cap is likely to potentially 10x. So there is a huge upside to this. But for me, there is an awful lot of risk and they're unproven at this point. As a result, I am currently not investing in this. Now, again, this is not financial advice. There is the potential for this to go up dramatically. This could be a great investment for all I know. I just believe that some of the other Bitcoin miners are a little bit safer investments, so that's where I have my money. But again, not financial advice. You guys need to decide where you're going to put your money uh, and whether or not you think the risk reward on this makes sense for you. So thanks so much and welcome to Iris as a new Bitcoin miner that we will definitely be covering over time. We'll see you in the next video.